it's alive. I've got all the main electronics, computer, everything except the flood coolant on. Got the path pilot set up. It's pretty sweet. I only had one issue, um, and I actually called Tormac support, and they solved it in like less than a minute, and it was wonderful. I'm not used to calling support for anything, so it was nice to be able to call and get help. And I'll explain quickly what my problem was. Uh, in the setup procedure, it tells you to activate. Here, I'll go. I'll switch to the screen. There's a status screen there, and it tells you. So you can manually see when the X, Y, and Z limit switches are tripped. And I was tripping them manually, so hitting them. And then you could see the, the light go on. So that's the Z one telling you it's tripped. And then I was doing the Y, which is down right there. So I was doing Y, and you can see the Y one being tripped. And then I was touching the Z, the sorry, X one, and see how the Y is still being tripped? I was like, oh no, something's cross-wired or something's messed up and I can't believe this. And so I called and uh, apparently the X and Y are wired together for some reason. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure that my machine wasn't messed up and it's fine. So once I figured that out uh, and I, oh my, I guess my table was stuck right out of limit switch too. So I couldn't, like when you hit a switch, you've got to hit a limit switch. You've got to hit reset to... I allow you to have uh, functionality again. And then you can home everything, and I tried all that. And the only other uh, issue I had is, uh, see the little cutout in the plexi there? For the, the hinge of this, when it goes up and down, it will catch there, and it makes a wicked sound when it catches and snaps back down. So if I modify my doors, I'm gonna make a bigger cutout there. But the, uh, the guy on the phone uh, had actually mentioned that. He said, oh, if you have the enclosure, uh, just be wary of that. But I'd already done it at that point and scared my wife because it's pretty loud. But um, other than that, I didn't have any issues. And the jog shuttle actually works. So if I want to jog X, X works fine. Uh, y. And Z. Oh yeah, I'll show you the uh, the problem with the Z. Watch this. Oh no, it didn't get caught that time. Last time I did it, that hinge got caught and didn't break anything, but it like bent the plexi up until it released, and it makes a very loud sound. And when you're operating a new machine and are worried that you're going to break something, it's kind of alarming. Um, but so all my axes work fine. Uh, I tried spindle control uh, So you can set the RPM there. I have I had it low, but I'll just make it like I don't know 3,000 And enter and forward hey, My spindle's moving Stop It's so <laughs> satisfying to have it work uh, I still have to degrease the table uh, mount, mount uh, the. There's two guard, a guard over the motor and a guard over the limit switch uh, area, and then uh, put in my tool holder, and maybe later today I can cut apart. Oh, I've got to mount the vise too. Well, maybe later today or early tomorrow I'll be able to cut apart. Probably just gonna make some like simple 2D parts or test. I, I need some more liners from brass anyway, so I'm gonna. I think try cutting those it's got to be a pretty simple thing to make uh the code for so yeah so a couple little hiccups along the way but overall i'm very 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 impressed and uh look forward to making some cool stuff all right thanks guys